The OS-1P, best in class. The OS-1P is a field portable modulated chlorophyll fluorometer that was designed to be easier to use and provide greater capability than any instrument in its class. It replaces the OptiSciences OS-1FL, an instrument known for its rugged design, light adapted yield protocol, affordable price, and reliable scientific results. The OS-1P raises the technology bar in several important areas. The new instrument now offers a menu-driven color graphic touchscreen that allows several new advantages, including graphic display of measuring traces, display of current and previous results, the ability to add comments to measurements, and improve ease of use that allows easy instrument adjustment and access to data. The OS-1P also offers SD card technology that allows transfer of data and improved multi-user capability. Now the instrument can be shared by several researchers without disturbing settings and data of each individual researcher. Each person can have their own data card and carry their own experimental data and experimental settings. Cards are available up to two gigabytes. The instrument also provides a USB port for direct transfer of measuring files and stored images. The fluorometer becomes a hard drive for your computer, and files can be opened in Excel or any comma-delineated software program. This technology also allows software upgrades and enhancements in the field by connecting the instrument to your computer and clicking on an OptiSciences provided link. Next, let's discuss the unparalleled list of measuring protocols that are included with this class of instrument. The OS-1P offers FEFM and FEFO for dark adapted fast tests, quantum yield of PS2 and electron transport rate for light adapted fast test, a quenching protocol that includes NPQ and other parameters, and also a new rapid light curve protocol. By far, the tests that are the most used are the FAST tests, FEFM and FEFO, quantum yield of PS2, and electron transport rate. FEFM and FEFO are dark adapted tests. FEFM is the most used chlorophyll fluorescent measuring parameter in the world and is also known as maximum quantum yield. FEFO is also included because it is somewhat more sensitive to some types of plant stress. Both parameters offer the advantage of allowing the comparison of samples that have been dark adapted to a known state. To get reliable measurements, FO or minimum fluorescence must be measured reliably. To do this, the modulated light source must be set high enough to detect minimum antenna fluorescence but not high enough to drive photosynthesis. As a result, improperly set modulated light sources can be the source of measuring error. To overcome this potential problem, the OS-1P offers a special new routine that sets the modulated light source correctly and automatically. While old school researchers can still set the modulated intensity manually, this new and unique option should prevent improper adjustment as the source of error and provide more reliable measuring results. FEFM and FEFO protocol also offers a far red light option for pre-illumination of the sample. Far red light is known to activate PS1 and helps drain any remaining electrons from PS2 to ensure a fully oxidized PS2. While this does not replace dark adaption, it helps ensure more reliable results. These screens show a far red pre illumination for five seconds. In this clip, an FEFM measurement is made using the OS-1P and dark clips. The sample was dark adapted for 30 minutes and pre illuminated with far red light for five seconds. Here is the OS-1P in action making FEFM measurements. Measurement values are displayed. The measuring trace confirms that the measurement was done correctly.
for the more current and previous results may all be viewed from the single screen. While saturation pulse intensity and duration are adjustable, a new automated algorithm ensures the correct FM measurement is made even if the duration of the saturation pulse is set too long. This ensures that the instrument provides the correct results for such diverse samples as algae and land plants. While FEFM is the most used parameter in the world, quantum yield of PS2 and electron transport rate have been shown to be the more versatile parameters. Research has shown that quantum yield of PS2 is sensitive to more types of plant stress than FEFM, and in some cases the parameters detect stress at a more sensitive level. For example, quantum yield of PS2 has been shown to detect heat stress in oak leaves at 35 degrees centigrade, whereas FEFM did not detect heat stress until 45 degrees centigrade. For more information on the capabilities and limitations of each parameter, contact OptiSciences for a free copy of the Desktop Plant Stress Guide. Quantum Yield of PS2 is a light-adapted protocol made possible by modulated light. This test was developed in 1989-1990 timeframe by Bernard Genti. It allows the measurement of quantum yield of PS2 while the leaf is undergoing photosynthesis. Relative electron transport rate is also provided. Like FEFM, current and previous results can be viewed from the measuring screen along with measuring traces. Since quantum yield of PS2 varies not only with plant stress, but also with light irradiation level and leaf temperature, it is important to record this information with every measurement for valid measurement comparison. For this reason, Park clips are highly recommended for field use. The park clip measures light irradiation at leaf level and leaf angle, along with leaf temperature. Since quantum yield of PS2 is to be measured only at steady state photosynthesis, it is important not to change the leaf angle when making measurements. The park clip is designed for rugged use, and it will not accidentally open when used on high leaves or when mounted on a tripod. It is also designed and calibrated to measure either ambient light or internal LED actinic illumination. Multi-flash. This is an option for field correction of FM prime in yield and electron transport rate. Several researchers, including Bernard Genti, the man that developed the yield protocol, have found that it is not possible to close all PS2 reaction centers of field plants, even with very intense saturation flashes. This is a requirement for reliable measurement. Solutions have been sought that won't hurt plants. The problem was first noticed by Mark Raff in 1990. Earl in 2004 verified the issue and developed a solution. He used multiple flashes with different saturation intensities and linear regression analysis. With this, he was able to determine yield and ETR values with an infinite saturation flash, and it worked. In 2006, Laureau, along with others, including Bernard Genti, used Earl's correction method and made some improvements. By using multiple saturation flashes of 0.3 seconds in duration and linear regression, they were able to complete the correction in one second. OptiSciences has used this research to develop multi-flash. This is a one-second saturation pulse that includes multiple 0.33 second saturation intensities and linear regression to determine FM prime with an infinite saturation flash. A special algorithm ignores saturation flash NPQ. This screen shows a sun maple leaf measurement with a standard square saturation flash at 6,000 micromoles. The same leaf was measured using multi-flash. Each flash duration is 0.33 seconds with increasing intensity from 2,100 micromoles to 6,000 micromoles. And as you can see, 
the quantum yield of PS2 is more than 30% higher using multi-flash in this instance. Here the quantum yield of PS2 is being measured using the OS1P and a bar clip. Here, as shown earlier, when measuring yield, one can see the results, the trace, and previous measurements all on the same screen. Quenching protocol. Standard protocol offered on the OS1P is the Hendrickson Lake model with NPQ. Options include Kramer Lake model, puddle model, or quenching relaxation protocol. Hendrickson Lake model with NPQ. This protocol offers the advantage of simplified lake model parameters and NPQ. The advantage? Well, many papers have been written using NPQ for plant stress measurement. The other options are shown. Kramer Lake model protocol, puddle model protocol, and quenching relaxation protocol. Quenching relaxation protocol is available for an additional cost. The OS1P allows the use of built-in actinic light to measure quenching parameters. This is a unique feature in this class of instrument. Here you see the measuring screen for quenching. Not only do you see the measuring results, you also see the measuring trace and the values for each peak. Rapid light curves are commonly used in variable light environments, such as under canopy or for aquatic measurement. Why? Because quantum yield of PS2 requires steady state photosynthesis to be reliable. Yield of PS2 overstates photosynthesis conditions in a variable light environment. Light saturation rate in rapid light curves correlate with the concentration and maximum activity of Rubisco. The advantages that the OS1P offer are that it offers up to 10 steps that can be programmed. The actinic light steps can be adjusted from 5 seconds to 60 seconds. Curve fitting software is standard on the OS1P. Curve fitting is according to Eilers and Peters, 1988. ETR Max IK, IM, and Alpha are all displayed on the instrument screen. Furthermore, both the light trace and the fitted curve can be viewed on the instrument screen. This is the rapid light curve measuring screen. And you can see the fitted curve in the upper right-hand corner, the cardinal values on the left-hand side, and all of the peak values on the lower right-hand screen. And here you can see both the light trace provided by the curve and the fitted curve. Here we're going to measure a rapid light curve with a parklip, tripod, and shroud for dark adaptation. Parklip measures internal step light intensities and leaf temperature. The OS1P has been field tested and proven reliable for more than one year. It is also young by product life cycle standards, and so it will be around for several years before the design is changed. The color graphic screen, the automated modulated light setting routine, the option for pre-illumination in FEFM protocol with far red light, the multi-flash option in quantum yield of PS2, choices for lake or puddle model quenching protocols, rapid light curve curve fitting software, the ability to add comments to measurements, the USB port and SD card technology make the OS1P the best instrument in its class.